Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. Man, this day is starting off a little bit challenging as I start my first video. And we have a thunderstorm shutting off the power, but it seems I am back. And it's a little bit strange getting back to normal, as they say, after being cooped up for so long during this quarantine this is the first day back into my original space as we had had construction since april it made it very challenging to make the last few videos they felt rushed and they felt a little bit pressured on this end hopefully it wasn't so obvious on the listening side between four kids and two dogs and crazy schedules trying to put something together around all of the hecticness and now we're in the new area and it's comfortable and private and quiet and easy to remain focused so right into the first article california moves forward with digital asset bill originally seeking to define digital assets the bill now orders for a study to look at the impact of digital assets as if they were securities and california passed a new digital asset bill and California Senate Banking and Financial Institutions Committee passed a bill seeking to study and define crypto assets and provide the regulatory frameworks to measure the benefits, how it's going to impact the state on Assembly Bill 2150, which can potentially influence how federal regulators approach digital assets. So that's going to be interesting to follow, and we will do that for you here on this channel. And next article of discussion, educating Congress on tech is the next frontier for this blockchain caucus co-chair. And as we get into this article, the Congressman Soto talks about the point where crypto education meets solid policy and what's standing in the way. He states, I remember watching the hearings before the Energy and Commerce Committee with Mark Zuckerberg, and it was clear that a lot of his colleagues didn't really know a lot about technology, recalls the U.S. Representative Darren Soto. When Soto, a Democrat of Florida, speaks about technology, it sounds personal. He references space launches at Cape Canaveral, and we get to watch those here from my front yard, which lies adjacent to his district, Florida's ninth. And again, we just had a beautiful launch today. You can probably Google that and find it on the internet. We have a beautiful launch today with clear skies. Florida's ninth, it is, he mentions also home to Disney World and Universal, which have made it a major hub for virtual reality as well as vacationers. A co chairman of the Blockchain Caucus and sponsor of several closely pieces of blockchain legislation, so does one of the main figures shaping crypto policy inside of Congress. And you know we love Disney being here in Florida. The kids like to go there on the weekends. And the Token Taxonomy Act will define the tokens actually represent investment contracts that fall under the SEC. And then the digital... Um, Taxonomy Act will put the Federal Re Trade Commission in charge of practices related to tokens that aren't securities, stated by Representative Darren Soto. And he also states the we need to have increasingly greater guidance from the IRS so people know in advance what they're going to know and the consequences of their obligations for each transaction. And then, as he states, in education and regulation, ignorance is our main opposition. Well, slowly but surely, we're doing it. It's going to be a slog, but I think we all realize that our opposition is not partisan in nature. It's basically educating the members. Ignorance is our main opposition right now. And high-profile encounters between crypto and lawmakers, like last summer's controversy over Facebook's proposed Libra, stablecoins serve as teachable moments, but often education get sidetracked by other political concerns. In that case, Soto noticed that the Libra controversy really was more about Congress friction and frustration with Facebook than it was about the cryptocurrency itself. Although there are people who get scared about having parallel currencies, but I'll remind everybody we have gold. We have other countries, currencies, silver commodities, stocks, and there are multiple different parallel currencies and units of value out there. 
One thing that I want to bring up again, the original Libra was to be based off of Stronghold, which is a USD-backed currency on Stellar. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens now, what the future holds for them. I want to thank XRP Crypto Wolf, at XRP Crypto Wolf, for sending in some articles. Much appreciation to you. If you guys aren't subscribed, check out XRP Crypto Wolf. And another article, the Binance, uh, like we tweeted earlier, saw the highest web traffic among other crypto exchanges for the month of July. Crypto exchange Binance had the highest number of visitors among its peers in July, coming in at 25 million visitors. This was followed by Coinbase and Bitmax with 22.5 million and 6.9 million visitors respectively according to data collected by the block research and again guys as always we include the links to every article we discuss in the description below and again we have partner links in there too as well if you're interested and we will always have even if we don't discuss on the main video the i trust capital we found something as always, if we find something, I should say, that we believe is going to help um, as our investment with this uh, new opportunity and these new digital assets, then we are going to share everything we can so you will have all of the knowledge and information you can to make a wise decision. And if we think it's going to make our lives better, like we often say, be careful with the FOMO. And, and when you do moon, so to speak, please get an accountant and or a financial advisor. Remember, if you're out here investing your time and you've been in here for a long time, and I would say, you know, in this space, probably five plus years is considered a long time investor. <laughs> Some of us since 2009, but say five plus years, you've been here waiting in the four year bull run cycles as we had, you know, obviously 2009, the beginning because of what happened in 2008. Then we had 2013, 2017. Next year is the next cycle for 2021. And then the following cycle bull run falls right into the same year of the full market maturity in 2025. And that's going to be major because as it's stated in the fintech uh, industry, that basically now if we are at 1% of the global population being involved on the crypto assets in 2025 it's stated as we've shared in videos even as far back as last year the full market maturity is expected to have 90 percent plus and that's including the unbanked and underbanked population globally all right guys i'm gonna leave you with a final thought success is not final failure is not fatal it is the courage to continue that counts. All right, guys, much love to each and every one of you. And remember, this is not financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. If you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe. And please share any video that you can. It is greatly appreciated. As we grow this channel, it enables us with YouTube to do greater options on our videos to make our show better for you. Again, much love, and we'll catch you in the next one.